most relationships in travel writings are fleeting temporary although polite, very very cordial and I would also say cooperative, though there were a few relationships worth pointing out I'm going to risk it and discuss the relationship between a person and his religion and how ultimately it was his relationship to humanity, I speak of Mr. Malcolm X. In his youth it was popular to hate a white man because of the American stigmas placed on the population due to racism. Not that it doesn't exist, but the way you deal with it and your outlook on life is ultimately up to the individual. Malcolm X spent the majority of his young adulthood after prison preaching against the devil as he referred to white people and also preaching the uplifting of his own people. He did this for years under the tutelage of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad they spoke from mosque to street corners city to city and state to state, gaining followers and bringing what they perceived as purpose to the black community. This relationship was intercultural because although he proclaimed to follow the Muslim faith he was not necessarily immersed in the culture, he was American. The transfer of faith to another land doesn't bring the culture of its origin. I have a theory that this is how different sects of religion is formed, by taking the faith and leaving the culture. This relationship is also an interfaith one because of religious aspect. The only reason he feels any sort of connection to the culture is through the practice of faith he shares with the other culture. His sect of Muslim faith was called the Nation of Islam, who proved to be as corrupt as anything that's corrupt. The powers start flowing and the backstabbing begins amongst the people who stand to gain it or aspire to gain it. In the midst of all this melee Malcolm decides to live one of the ultimate expressions of his faith and go on a pilgrimage to Mecca. After all you're not a real Muslim until you do right. Well not technically but anyone who has can definitely talk over someone who hasn't. The odd thing is when his pilgrimage was almost complete his entire worldview changed and he realized that the hate he had for whites was not in him but from his environment. On the pilgrimage he sat in peace with white Muslims and Arab Muslims which let him know people are just people and it's the surroundings of the American cities and people. As a result he became closer to people, to humanity and he came back to America tried to teach this to the nation of Islam and they shot him dead. My point is him becoming closer to his religion, developing a friendship with, made him closer to people. Like I said before the way you deal with life and your outlook on it is ultimately up to the individual. Thank you for watching, and please, like and subscribe.